One of the main things you talk about in real analysis are sequences, and usually they come towards the beginning of the course, which is interesting because you don't usually talk about sequences in calculus until maybe Calc 2, or maybe even towards the later part of Calc 2, but we really think of sequences as an ordered list of numbers. Or you can think of it just as an ordered set allowing for repetition. Formally, we're just going to define it as a function. A sequence is a function. I'm going to use the letter A for sequences, but you might use B or you might use anything else from the natural numbers to the real numbers. So we really just think of it as a function. And you're going to see many different notations for this depending on which teacher you use or which textbooks you use. So you usually denote the nth term of a sequence a sub n. So whatever the n is, that's the that term of the sequence. So you might see the entire sequence denoted like this with like these curly brackets around, or you might see it denoted with some script out here telling you exactly which it starts at, maybe, maybe one to infinity. Typically, we're going to say these sequences go on forever, or you might even just see the list of the sequences. So maybe your sequence goes like this. Maybe it goes one, one half, one third, one fourth, dot, dot, dot. And maybe the pattern is clear and it's just a list. So there are many different ways you can represent a sequence. Typically, the question is what happens at the end of the list? Does this sequence settle down? to a certain spot or does it kind of not? These are the questions we typically think about. Those are going to be called convergence. We'll talk about that in the next video. For right now, I just want to say what a bounded sequence is. It's kind of exactly what you would expect. We could say a sequence a sub n is bounded if you know there's a real number, call it b, a real number in r, such that the sequence a sub n is less than or equal to b, you know, for all little n in the natural number. So basically for any term of the sequence, its absolute value is less than b. And you could rewrite this and make a different definition if you wanted to say it's strictly bounded above or below. But if this is not true, well, then we'll say the sequence is unbounded. For now, click the link on the screen to watch the next video in the course about sequence convergence.